Hey guys, welcome back. So this is day number 15. And like I said, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please like, subscribe, and share, comment, all that stuff. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about secure coding. Santa is looking for a sidekick. All right, I'll be a sidekick. And like I always want to say, thank you, TryHack Me, for putting on this event. This is a super cool learning experience, especially for me as well. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So I already have my attack box up. So the learning objectives, I like to, this is pretty much what I like to pay attention to. Uh, input validation of uh, file upload functionality, unrestricted file upload vulnerabilities, phishing through a file uh, uploads, and then how to properly secure a file upload functionality. Right, so pretty much what this is all about is making a payload, uploading it to a site, and having that site execute it. And once we execute it, we get a reverse shell. And with that reverse shell, once we are on that box, we can start manipulating files, looking around files, see how things are configured, and so on and so forth. So you have you know the unrestricted file uploads. Um, so this is pretty much what we're going to be doing uploading a file, so on and so forth. We have to create a payload and all that good stuff. So right here, a uh, shell from Santa. This is his Christmas gift to you guys on day, on today. So let's go ahead and open up a Firefox and let's go ahead and let's see if it gives us the IP address. Let's go all the way down. Um, let me just go all the way back up. Did I already start this box? So let me go ahead and copy this and let's go ahead and pop it in or or not. Let's go 10.10.252.110. Okay, perfect. So let's go all the way down now. So this is the IP address and you see how it says browse. We can browse, upload a file. So let's go all the way back down. And let's get stopped right here, shell from Santa. So what we want to do is we're going to use MSF Venom. We're going to create that payload and upload this payload to the web server and then listen with MSF console, which is Metasploit. And we're going to use that Windows X64 Meterpreter reverse TCP, right? So obviously let's go ahead and just copy this and let's open up a Terminal over here, and let's go ahead and paste this. Boom. Paste. Okay. And let's see if we can paste it over here. Let's clear this. Oop. Uh, let's go ahead and. Jeez. Oh, All right. Let's see. Oh, man. Sometimes using paste. Oh, Jesus. Didn't paste. All right. So let's go ahead and give this a go again. Copy, paste, paste, there we go. All right, cool deal. Let's bring this in. So let's see if we make this a little larger, uh, can we? So you go to view, zoom in. All right, that should be good. So what this one I wanna do, really quick is a if config. So this is going to show us all the IPs. So we're going to use ETH zero. So let me just actually, let me, let me do this. Let me clear this out. Let's do IP address. And we're going to do ETH zero, our IP address. So let's go ahead and copy this. Come back to here and we're going to change some of this stuff. So listening port Listening port, I want to do, I don't know. Uh, let's just do one, three, three, seven. All right, should be fine. And then my local host, see if I can paste that in now. Okay, so we have 10.10.252.153. My L port, 
is going to be 1337. And I think we should be good. So let's go ahead and hit enter here. And we should generate that CV dash username.exe. Let's give that a moment to do its thing. And once that's done, we can go ahead and clear this out. Do ls, do pwd, see where we're currently at. We're in the root. Okay, so good. So it's there, as you can see, it's right here. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is, let, let me just go ahead and browse out really quick. Right here, you can see that right on the root. All right, so let's go ahead and minimize that for now. And now we're going to go ahead and start the listener. So let's go ahead and copy this. Okay, and let's go ahead and paste this here. Okay, and let's go ahead and bring this in, paste, perfect. All right, so now what all we have to do is the listening port, we have to just change the listening port to 1337, and then our L host is going to be 10.10.252.0.0.0. In my case, maybe yours is different. All right, so now once we hit enter here, it's gonna go ahead and set up a listener. Now, all we have to do is come up here back to, actually back to our site. We need to upload that executable. Let's go on to, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's go to root and cv-username.exe and go ahead and hit open and then upload. And once we upload, it's uploaded successfully. You know, the Santa team is gonna go ahead and, oh, let's go ahead and uh, use expire. All right, cool. So I think we should be good. So now let's go ahead and minimize this and we can see the reverse TCB handler starting. So once this is started, we, we should be able to see that in a moment. So let's give that a sec. All right, let's, let's give it more than a second, I guess. All right, let's go. All right, while that's going, we can go ahead and see some of the questions. So Chris, the first question is, what is the name or what is the name given to upload files to allow threat actors to upload files that they want unrestricted? And we can see that is up here is do, 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 the unrestricted file uploads. This is the ability to upload files to a server, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's number one. All right, and then number two, uh, we have to fig figure that out. So now we have the shell which is good, right? So now what we have to do is let, let's do like PWD. Let's see where we're currently at. So we're in Windows System 32. So let's go ahead and C to C. And now let's do PWD. Now we're on the root. Now if we do an LS, we can see some stuff in here, right? So what we need to do is find out the application. So let's go ahead and CD into INET pub. If you're familiar with like IS, um, IIS, you will know all about this good stuff. So then you have www root. So let's go ahead and CD into there. Uh, whoops, I did too many W's. I think a WWF. Uh, oh, mud on the mirror. All right, root. All right, so now let's do an LS. And now we have Santa. We have this directory named Santa. So let's see into Santa and do an ls and we can see sidekick two dot view dot dll etc etc so that's where we got the number two answer okay so number three what is the value of the flag stored in the hr elves document directory so pretty much what we have to do now is just get into the documents folder of this um hr right so let's go ahead and give that a jingle so let's go ahead and cd to 
let's go ahead and just CD B doll. And now let's do an LS. Now let's CD to users and then LS. And then we should see HR underscore elf. So let's go ahead and CD into HR underscore elf. Okay, LS. Now we have a whole boatload of stuff. So let's go ahead and CD to documents, documents, LS. Now we have this flag.txt at the bottom here, as you can see. So let's just type cat flag.txt and bada bing bada boom. THM naughty file uploads can be to get you remote code execution. Okay, so that's the answer for here. And then the next one is pretty much theory, right? So what defense techniques can be implemented to ensure that specific files can be uploaded? File execution validation. So you can see that right up here. File right here. We can, you know, we can do that to limit the type of files that can be uploaded and all that good stuff. Right? So uh, what defense techniques can we use to make sure that threat actors cannot recover their file again by simply using the file name, file renaming? We can implement that. And then what defense techniques can be used to make sure malicious files that are, you know, that can hurt else uh, are not uploaded? Malware scanning, as you can see right up here, mal whoops, right here, malware scanning. This is pretty much the technique that we can implement. And that concludes this video for today. If you guys have any questions or concerns or problems or whatever, just give me a holla. I'll be sure to try to help you as best as I can. And this is day number, I'm losing track because I was sick for a few days. This is day number 15. Thank you so much for viewing and have a beautiful day.